morning. Welcome back to Community Kitchen. Today we're gonna start a series on soup. Things are getting a bit cooler outside and it's good to come home and have a hot, warm soup. <laughs> um, and often I'm asked, like, how do you do this soup? Because people enjoy the soup. And I don't have written down recipes for most of them. I just kind of have different soup categories that I usually do. And today we're gonna start with one which is a very basic one. It's pea soup. I use for that yellow split peas. Super easy. This is gonna be a vegetarian version. There's some version that people add uh, pork, like the bone of a, of a ham, but we're not gonna do it. I'm gonna do it a very simple one, and it tastes amazing, even though the only ingredient is a split peas. Uh, onion, carrot, celery that I'm gonna chop up, and salt and pepper. There is nothing else but that and water in the soup. So it's definitely uh, easy for you to do. And um, this bag is, uh, I think I'm pretty sure it's under three bucks. I'm not really sure, can't remember. I had that in my pantry. All right, let's get going. It's good to use a bigger bowl. This is probably a little bit too big. My other pot is busy right now. Um, because you'll notice when you're gonna cook, the peas, they're gonna have a lot of foam. It's gonna come up, especially if you um, cover it for it to come to a boil faster. It kind of foams up. It's a bit like when you cook potato, the starches come up and the foam and it can overflow. I put two cups of those beans, split peas in the bottom. And yeah, you can look and see sometimes there's a little bit, I don't know, like a bit of stem of some plant. Can roughly look. These are not too bad. Sometimes you have little rocks, but I haven't really found rocks in split peas. I find them sometimes in lentils. So I'm gonna add water to this about two inches above my pea peas, and I'm gonna set it to boil. And once it's boiling, and the water is boiling, I'm gonna chop up all my veggies. I'm just gonna chop up in fine little cubes. Smaller, better, I think, but not too small, too. You want a bit of substance. So I usually cut my carrots and sticks. And then take these sticks and I cut them a little bit um, smaller so that not so wide. And sideways. makes little cubes pretty much. So I'm gonna do the rest, chop up the rest, and we're gonna wait after for the water to boil. What I mean by it coming up the sudsy, all of the suds floating on top. I don't know if you see it. Yeah, I'm taking that off. It's on the side of the pot and on top. So now my water is boiling. Gonna bring it down to, I wanna keep it, I want it to keep on boiling for a little while, probably at least an hour. So it's 9.24 right now. I will have to keep an eye on it because I might need to add more water. Like I say, I usually just do it by eye whenever I, I see a meat. And as it cooks, if it gets too thick to be like a soup, I'm gonna add some water. But I will tell you whatever I'm doing right now. But this is gonna be like that for a little bit. So now I'm just cleaning my pot from all that sud stuff, the foamy. All right, let's go. So I want my soup to be at a low simmer for the whole duration of the cooking. See, the peas are still shaped right now. When they're gonna be cooked, you won't really 
see the shape it's going to be like um, a porridge consistency so we still 11 19 we still have uh, a good 20 30 minutes so 10 38 just a little over an hour we're still boiling see this is getting thicker it's like um you have to be careful because at this point it's starting to stick at the bottom but it's not burnt so i'm going to take it off of the element a little bit not often that helps to take um the stickiness out if it's not burnt i'm okay and i will also maybe add a little bit of cold water that might help also just like a half a cup or something at this point when it's getting towards close to be done i have to either add more water but that might be too soupy i might want it to be thicker or i have to keep on an eye on it and keep on stirring it regularly and break down the heat for sure at this point i'm going to add my vegetables you want probably close to an hour also to cook with your vegetable at lower and here i have way too much for the amount this is like maybe a liter of soup, so I really did a small batch. So I'm just gonna add a quarter of these veggies. Way too much, I'm used to way more. So I probably added, I probably added about two cups of veggies in there. I'm gonna wait till the end, and I'm gonna add the salt and pepper there when I'm almost done. So keep on stirring it regularly because this is five minutes and it was already starting to stick. So at this point, I could add a little bit of liquid because it's still gonna cook for another hour. So I don't want it to stick too much. I'm gonna add another cup of water. So it looks, at this point, adding water makes it look too runny, but we're, I'm gonna be cooking this for another hour. So gonna be fine the vegetable will have time to cook get a little bit tender and so I'm putting my timer every five minutes go back to it stir it making sure it doesn't stick so what time is it 11 15 so that's an hour and a half or actually almost two hours see now it's it actually would probably be ready the peas per se be ready to eat because they're really soupy and it keeps on sticking thing, last thing i have to do now is just add a bit of salt and pepper i'm gonna keep it on the low until people are ready to eat it Serve you. you. Probably want to put it there. It's a bit hot. Is this good? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, Dom. It looks so good. Thanks, Dom. You're welcome. You. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm excited. Thank you. <laughs> 